got a few different things going on here, um, including a uh, another forecast for our April Fool's Day, Easter Sunday, Nor'easter, which is looking more and more like a very, very good possibility with a Nor'easter um, on the 28th and one coming uh, in the next two days. So we possibly have three more Nor'easters. That would be four, five, and six, all within a two-month stretch, basically. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Angel here with Scarrack Truther. Welcome back to another video. Folks, today we're going to be talking about water contamination and how this is actually not a conspiracy, but actually true. Alright, this isn't a theory. This is actually happening. And scientists, or should I say experts, are admitting that there is plastic in water. Right? So, basically, folks... I found this article and there's articles uh, there's probably multiple articles out there in google if you just research it where it talks about how the water is being contaminated by the sun and that's being contaminated by actual plastic inside the water which is a little strange i don't know how this is happening but they are admitting that the waters is being are being contaminated by plastic apparently plastic fibers at least. what does this all mean well, it just means that we ain't, you know, drinking clean water anymore. We're actually drinking plastic. So, as we all know, drinking plastic is very bad. I mean, you who would be eating or drinking plastic? I mean, only a, someone mental, but okay. Then the article starts talking about and says, like, the, the, amount, the statistics on the percentage amount of the water being contaminated around different countries right so again folks we are not drinking cold water or clean water we're drinking plastic all right folks you know some may say that well can they not you know remove the plastic from the water well yes they can but they're not going to do it right you see folks the water is being is kept by all these corporations and all these corporations are all united as one and as as we all know they are poisoning us and there is some good effects from it with fluorine in the sinks right with water so i don't really think these corporations would like us to be healthy right i think they will more want us to be dumped down and dead Sinks aren't really the only thing that are being poisoned with fluoride, right? So also could be bathtub sinks, right? When you take a shower, take a bath. It could also be your hoe, right? Your hose that you water your plants with. It could also be the water you drink from, where you get the water from, right? The whatever store you get them from. But, folks... You may say, well, if it's all, if we're getting poisoned from everywhere, can we just, like, drink water from rain? Well, it's probably unlikely. Spring continues, we got FedEx 3604 doing a dump. A very dirty dump, as you can see. By the nice brown, whatever shit. So we pretty much cannot drink rain of water at all. I mean, look at them harping the clouds. Look at them spraying the skies. We don't even know what's in the rain or in the snow anymore. And not just that, but tubes, you know, from the sewers as well and dams are breaking as well, like leaking poison water or like pee and stuff, right? Because it's from like the sewers and all that. It's leaking poison to the ocean water or lakes. So we cannot drink water from lakes or, or the ocean. So how in the world are we going to get clean water, right? It's all going to be poison. And as we all know, there is a lot of bad things about fluoride, right? There's a lot of bad things. There is some good things like removing tooth decay. But other than that, there's really nothing good about fluoride, is there? Hey, 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 everybody, my name is Koch Mom, and I am coming. The world is not anymore. No, no, no. Be connected.
So pretty much all the ocean and lakes are being poisoned with pollution and, and not just that folks. It's not just fluoride. It's not just, you know, dams breaking or tubes leaking poison water to the ocean or lakes. But it's also the amount of trash we're polluting the oceans with, right? You know? But if you still think we can drink water from the sky, there's gonna be no way. I mean, look at the amount of videos from different channels. You can look up Mike Decker's channel, and he'll show you a lot of footage on his recording on chemtrails spraying the sky. Them spraying black, yes, actual black chemtrails. I mean, look at the sky right now. You can look outside and you'll see no clouds. You'll see either trails in the sky, you'll either see bubbly looking clouds, which is from Harp, or you'll see actually just a haze looking as clouds. And if you still think there's clean water in our world to drink, think again. Hi, I'm Dan McGuire. Here we are in the Mars Center, Quebec. Trying to grow vegetables while fighting the chemtrails. Here we got healthy tomatoes that were planted and it rained yesterday after extreme chemtrails as you can see up in the sky today here i'll zoom in on this here if i can no i can't zoom in okay anyways this white that you see on the leaves is what fell in the rain these plants were perfectly green and perfectly healthy before the rain yesterday my chum here has been tending the garden with me every day and the plants were all green and now they got white all over the leaf structure and it's burning the leaves killing our darling tomato plants that we work so hard to grow so we can feed ourselves. Yeah, apparently it's uh, turning into a real hard thing to do, grow a garden here in Pontiac, Quebec with all this crap that our government is spraying down on us. This is a crime against humanity. It's a crime against the people of the world. These plants are dying. This is This right here is what we're doing. We're rinsing the plants after the rain trying to wash off all the toxic white chemicals that are stuck to our leaves. So we're being poisoned by fluoride in the sinks. We're being contaminated by plastic in the water. The, the corporation industries own the water. The dams and leaks and leaks are happening all over the world in lakes and oceans. We're polluting the oceans with trash. And not just that, but the uh, waters or lakes get polluted with radioactive water as well. And the sky is being sprayed by chemtrails. So what are we going to do? And that's not the only bad thing. We are losing sand, folks. How convenient is that? Please leave a like, folks. Share this video because everyone wants to know this as fast as possible. Subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you again. Peace.